In Barnabas Hill, Mets game night on WCBS 880. Mets and Marlins tonight. First pitch, 7-10 at City Field. Our pregame coming up in just a few minutes at 6.30. Well, before we get to money news tonight and traffic and weather and, of course, the Mets pregame, I just wanted to say to everybody, thank you. These are my last few minutes here on WCBS 880. The station, of course, will be on for another week, but I already had a vacation plan for next week so I can move two of my kids into their college dorms. And then after that, I'll have to take some time to figure out a new way to pay for those colleges. By the way, this was also the last day at work for my daughter as a summer camp counselor before she begins college, and we were commiserating this morning that... Today's the last day of work for both of us. So without my wife, Lori, and my kids, I don't know if I get through this. So thank you, guys, if you're listening. I would hope so. I also want to thank, of course, you, the listener. Like so many colleagues here, and you've heard some of them say it already the last few days, we have had so many listeners reach out on social media or email saying how upset you are that we'll be leaving the air, how we've been so important to you. We already knew we had a strong legion of listeners, but to see the messages from so many of you has really been heartwarming this week. Many of you have uh, told us it's like you're losing a family member. Believe us, uh, we feel the same. We're all going through the stages of grief, just at different speeds, I guess. Shock, denial, anger. Some of you are so angry I couldn't share your profanity last comments on the air. Uh, there's also the stage of depression, and eventually we all reach acceptance. I have worked in a lot of radio newsrooms over the last 33 years, all over the country. Upstate New York, Houston, Orlando. The longest I stayed at any of them was five years. And they were all great in their own ways. But this one, this one was special, with special people and special listeners. I've been here 19 years. I'd hope to retire here in another, I don't know, 10, 15 years. Uh, alas, that's not going to happen. I have no idea what the future holds for me or a lot of my peers here, but it has been an honor and a privilege to have you invite us into your homes, your cars, your ears, wherever they were. It's a responsibility that we never took lightly, and I hope along the way we made you laugh a few times as well. Thank you so much for joining us, and good luck with wherever you find your news next. Another good day on Wall Street. At least the 401k is looking pretty good as we head out the door. Here's Money News, crunching the numbers, sponsored by Eisner Amper. At Bloomberg, it's Erica Herskowitz. Mm -hmm. 